Philip Watson with Discover Wilderness, and today we got lucky. So I'm sitting here trying to get some pine nuts out of these pine cones, and this flew by. Let's see. Oh man, my hands are so sticky. My hands are so sticky it lifted the lid up. Check this out. Wow. This is the giant wood wasp, also known as the giant horntail, banded horntail, and greater horntail wasp. This is not a wasp that you would normally think of. This wasp is non-social, unlike most wasps. It doesn't live on a nest. It doesn't build them for the larva. Instead, they lay eggs on distressed trees. The eggs then hatch and the larva become wood borers. When I saw this wasp, it was having a hard time evading me because it couldn't fly out of the fire ring. These horn tails are the most clumsy wasps that I have ever seen. Most likely this is due to their large size. The reason these ones are called horn tails are because of the spike on the back of their abdomen. This particular one also has what looks like a stinger underneath the spike. It is not a stinger, however, it is an ovipositor, which means this one is a female. It uses its ovipositor to lay eggs on trees. If you see one of these in the wild, don't worry. They seem to be very docile and fairly slow. Giant wood wasps have distinct black and yellow bands on their bodies, a smooth abdomen, and some hairs starting around the wings and going up to their heads. This was the largest wasp that I had caught, and while being a little intimidating, it was enjoyable to watch. Well, that was a good find. Thank you for watching this episode of Discovery Wilderness. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe.